So uh, house prices falling, and would they fall further if foreign investment uh, disappeared out of the market? Because that, that few percent keeps a little boil underneath a few of, of some people's homes' values, I would have thought. Uh, just over 80% of Australians have the opinion that foreign investors are causing house prices to increase. There's no evidence to back that up, as you, as you, as you said earlier. House prices, have, the, the rate of fall has um, exacerbated since no, October, November last year. There's still been about a 10% fall in Sydney over the past 12 months, but that's still up 11% growth since the pandemic started two and a half years ago. So we're certainly seeing a strong demand uh, for property even over the summer months, even though we all escaped to the beach over that period of time. But the rate of property prices decline has closed dramatically since October, November. We expect that to peter out by March and April this year, but still show a 6 or 7% return since the pandemic began in most capital cities. In Adelaide and Darwin, it's up by 30%, 11%. Hobart is still up. Perth is up by 5%. So we can come be preoccupied about the eastern seaboard sometimes where the biggest increases are in Sydney and Melbourne, yeah. but throughout the rest of the country, there's still returns there.